Now let's jump into the crown and the flame. Book number one, chapter five, with Kena and Gabriel being held captive, they'll need to fight through for their freedom. Meanwhile, Dominic sneaks into the Stormholt dungeon. Why is Dominic sneaking into the Stormholt dungeon? I forget. The challenge. Now playing as Kenya. You now stand in the center of a camp filled with mercenaries and former Stormholt soldiers. In front of you is Leon, the former guard captain of Stormholt, and Silverin, the leader of the mercenaries. Everyone, take a good look. For the first time, we've got a royalty in our camp. Too bad it's just till we turn her in for Prince Marco's reward. It's true. I'm Queen Ken Kenna Rees of Stormholt, and I intend to take back the Five Kingdoms. The people in the cr crowd all start murmuring. Your army strengthens an epic. Is epic. You're the one per one people. You're the one people are talking about. The lost queen who's gathering an army. It's really her. The legend's true. I say we let them be on their way. We don't need to turn her over to Marco. Ha. Huh. We've got the queen here. And you're just gonna let her walk away? The bounty Prince Marco put on her head is 3,000 gold coins. The mercenaries cheer. We'll eat for months off of that. Turn her over and Marco will have her head. So, who's she, who's she to us? The mercenaries begin to jeer. There's another way. You could join me. All of you. We'll retake this land and restore our kingdom to glory. Glory? You mean your glory. You wanted to be some you want to be some queen in the in the castle. Sitting on a throne of pills while real men like me do the dirty work. A real leader fights his own fights. Everyone else is just a weakling waiting till someone stronger crushes them. Your mother learned that the hard way, didn't she? Okay. I'm gonna go after him. You punch Severin squarely in the jaw. He takes a step back. She's fast. Severin glares at you, then laughs. So the little girl has a temper. That almost that almost tickled. My mother was a great woman. And now she's a dead one. That's how things go. We live in the real world out here, and in the real world, there's a mighty price on your pretty head. Severin, I can't let you hand her over. Don't be a fool. You can't seriously want to join her cause. I don't. But we can release her and Gabriel. There's no reason to have their blood on our hands. I can think of uh, about 3,000 reasons. Who's with me? I am. Oh, you're a dirty backstabbing little son of a... <laughs> the mercenaries cheer. Some of the former Stormholt soldiers join in. But others look conflicted. Dude, don't you dare join. Besides, it's my call. The strong lead. The weak lead. And I'm the strongest one here. Get over here, Queen Kina. You're coming with me. Severin reaches for you, but Gabriel steps in. I challenge you, Severin. Huh? As you, as you said... Strength leads among your people. If you're the strongest one here, prove it. Fight me. What? In the kitchens, you find Rose, now plain as Dominic, baking bread for the night's dinner. Tonight's dinner. 
Have you learned anything about our friend in the dungeon? Oh, Dominique, it's so sad. He's bleeding from a dozen wounds and can barely move his arm. They must have broken it. He needs real food to recover, but they only let him bring they only let me bring him scraps. They don't care if he recovers. You heard Marco in the courtyard. They mean to kill him. It's only a question of when. The guards told me I'd be bringing him food until the day, till the end of the week. Then we'll have to act before then. With, it, with any luck, I'll save our friend before he's tortured into giving up any information about Kinna. Kinna. The princess. You were in love with her, weren't you? I, I didn't realize. Every day that she's gone, I fear for her life. So that's why you're so eager to risk yours. What's the point of being safe when the one you love is in danger? You, you're right. So, tell me what I can do to help you. You've done enough. Leave the rest to me. Pardon me? We're in this together. It's one thing for me to risk my own life, but I don't want to see you in danger. Every day we live here, we're in danger. Last week, Marco had a servant flogged to death for spilling wine on his tunic. Fair enough. But, Rose, we have you've always been cautious. I couldn't live with myself if you got into trouble because of me. Oh, well... Oh well. Rose, delicious. Being near you makes me brave. Rose? I'd follow you anywhere, Dominique. So, what's your, what's your plan? If you're bringing the prisoner his food, then we can use that. Maybe today I can go with you. It's a great plan. It's a, it's a play then. Now playing as Kenya, you and Gabriel have been placed in Leon's tent and put under guard while the mercenaries gather for the duel. At least they had the decency to return my sword to me. Gabriel twirls his sword and practices a strike while you watch, frowning. It was a cunning move. I wasn't entirely sure it would work. It worked on Severin because... I don't. I think it was probably because of that. It was. Challenging Severin in front of his people meant he couldn't back down without looking weak. And he holds onto his power here because of his strength. The moment he looks weak, the other mercenaries would turn on him. Precisely. Gabriel practiced a lunge. But, Gabriel, I wish you weren't doing this. Funny, I thought I was supposed to be your bodyguard. Just because you've spent your life worrying about me doesn't mean I can't worry about you too. My queen, this duel is the only answer to our predicament. I'm just not sure this is a good idea. There's still enough fight in me to defend you. I know you would die to protect me, Gabriel. It's the dying part that I'd rather avoid. You've been like a father for as long as I can remember. You've always been there for me. And it was my pleasure, always. You've grown so quickly. Do you remember when you were a little girl, just a girl? The ball you, your mother, held in your honor when I found you in tears. Is this really the time to dread up that embarrassing memory? You learned a valuable lesson that day, or do you not remember? Want to see Kenya? 
was like as a little girl. This is your chance. Unlocking memories will give you exclusive scenes. You'll get the chance to earn more prestige points and increase your army score for the final battle. Remember to keep building your army score for the final battle. Even one, ev even one point can make a huge difference. I just... Oh, God. I just knew that that was going to do that. There's no time for that. Sentiment... Sentimentally, we'll have to wait. Sentimentality, we'll have to wait or something. We must come up with another plan. We have a plan. I will fight for you as I always have done. Always done. As I've always done. There we go. Please, don't go through with this. There must be another way. I wish you were right, but these men will only respect a show of strength. The strong lead, the weak bleed. You're right, the strong lead. Now playing as Dominic. You and Rose and Tristan are preparing a meal to bring down to the captive monk. I'll take the food down to him. Not alone, you won't. I'll come with you. Me too. We'll all need something to carry. Lucky for you two, I always bring the guards their dinner. So there's plenty to go around. Here, Tristan, take this pitcher of water. Dom, take these plants. Plates. Carrying the knight's meal, the three of you head to the dungeon. About time we got our food, wench. Here you go, sir. And may I fill your glass? As Rose talks to the guards, you and Tristan set down the plates and quickly spill into the shadows. And for dinner, I've made you the finest roast quail. While the guards eat their food, you sneak down the stairs to find the monk's cell. You approach one of the cells in the back. Sir, are you in there? Yeah, yes. The monk slowly pulls himself over to the bars. Here, take this food. What news have you, my friend? Did my hawk reach you in time? You're the one who sent the warning. Then you did get it in time. Yes, the queen lives. Or at least, she was alive when I last saw her. She fled with her guard. Gabriel, so the old man is still kicking. He remains a dedicated protector to Kenya. Kena, I haven't seen Kena in two years. Tell me. Is she safe? She has grown into a fearsome warrior. That much I can say for certain. She is well equipped to protect herself. There's no time for this, Dom. You're right. We've got to get you out of here. My execution has been ordered for tomorrow. Prince Marco will have my head before sunset. Tomorrow. But I heard that it would be at the end of the week. Apparently, any information I have is no longer needed. They've stopped questioning me. What? I believe this means Prince Marco has uncovered something about where Queen Kenna is now. I wish I knew more. This is... this isn't good. We've got to figure out what Marco knows. But first, we've, we're we breaking you out of here. I'm not letting them kill you. Don't concern yourself with me. I've accepted my fate. Will we haven't? Well, we haven't. We'll be back soon. Be prepared to flee. You lean forward to glass the monk's hand, and he stares at the flame-shaped marking on your chest. That brand. I didn't know you were from the mountain tribes. If I am, no one bothered to tell me. Then you have no idea what the mark means. I should say.
something to do with fire. Some strange things have been happening to me. The monk stares into your eyes. Have you felt it? The fire. How did you? Just then you hear the clock, the clanking sounds of a gate opening. Bartel and Helena are coming. If they spot us, they'll recognize us and know we're up to something. Then we'll just have to make sure they don't see us. You hide in the cell next to the monks, pulling Tristan in with you. I don't see why we can't do that. Do it now. I brought my new, s I brought my new set of pokers and everything. Prince Marco wants a public execution. You can't round up all the rabble in a couple of hours. Notice. Notices have been sent. You hear the sound of footsteps. Stop. Should we go now? Wait. No, we wait. They're not at the cell yet, and we wouldn't, and we would have heard them talking to him. You wait for a moment. The sound of footsteps resume. Here he is. Indeed. There's our prisoner. And you satisfied? Are you satisfied, Helen? You can't be too careful. I've never fully trusted the castle staff. I believe some may still be loyal to the foul queen. The full queen? Yeah, I guess we could have killed them all. If you want to make your own food and empty your own chamber pot. On your feet, prisoner. Tristan looks at you, unsure. Now? Now. You and Tristan sneak past the cell where Helena and Bartel are speaking to the monk. You should have saved yourself when you had the chance. Now Prince Marco has no need of you. I would never betray my queen. Insolent wretch. Bartel kicks him. The monk lets out a groan and you feel anger growing inside you. Up ahead, you see Rose waiting by the gate, gesturing quickly for you to come. How do you react? Oh crap. Flashes through you, your hands feel hot. Wait, what? You shake off the strange sensation and continue from the cell. The sounds of Bartel beating the monk echoes down the hall. Suddenly, Tristan nudges you sharply. Tristan places a finger over his lips and points behind you at a guard standing just a few feet from you. Oh, God. Oh, gods, I've got to find a way past that guard. I should. You step behind the guard, making a little noise as possible hate this creepy dungeon. You get past the guards successfully and motion for Tristan to follow your lead. Just as Tristan is about to step forward, the guard turns and spots Tristan standing right behind him. Who are you and what are you doing in the dungeons? I, uh, that is to say, I should... Before Tristan can get a word and edgewise, you snatch the guard's sword from its sleath. The guard immediately spins around. What in the? With one quick thrust, you join the guard's own sword through the eye slot in his helmet. The blade hits the metal of, of the back of the helmet with a thunk. The guard cramples to the floor dead crumples you look up at Tristan who is staring at you with eyes wide with fear you you killed him what was I supposed to do stand there and watch him kill you first you you're right just keep moving you and Tristan drag the soldier's corpse into an uncold Cove, alcove, and flee the hallway. 
Rose stares at you for a moment, mouth agape. Dom, let's go. The three of you flee up the stairs and rush back to your bedroom. There's no time to react in those situations. You grab, you stab. Now playing as Kanai. Kanai. Kana. 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 Na. 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 Kana. Na. 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 You're pacing in Leon's tent while Gabriel sharpens his sword. Severin enters. Gabriel, we must talk man to man now. Gabriel whispers to you. More like man to beast. Killing you will be easy. You are so old and I am so big. So I am here to offer a deal. You join us and work for me. And what happens to me? What do you think? We turn you over to the prince and live like kings. In case it wasn't clear before, I stand beside Kana. Forget about the wench. Without her kingdom, she's nothing. She will be my queen until my death. A death that happens tonight. If you won't save your skin, then I'll enjoy taking it. You're soft, old man. You don't remember what it's like to be a real fight. In a real fight. We shall see about that. Gabriel rises to his feet, but Severin darts close to him, pan planting his foot behind Gabriel and knocking him down. The sword falls out of Gabriel's hand. Ugh. Go. You fall to your knees beside Gabriel. Gabriel, are you hurt? I'm fine. That was a dishonorable tactic. I'm a mercenary. We're not so big on honor. There's plenty more tricks up my sleeve. Severin pulls a dagger out of his sleeve and twirls it in his fingers. I hope the little girl is ready to see your head rolling by your feet. I'll make sure she gets a good view. That won't happen. And how will you stop it? By, someone, by letting someone else die for you? You rulers are all the same. That's why my man and I bow to no one. Kana. Kana. Pay him no mind. He can't possibly understand the weight of ruling a kingdom. No, Gabriel. He's right. I am? Yes, you are. I can't sit safely by... While others fight for me. If I'm going to rule, it won't be because someone else handed me a crown. I'll... I'm going... If I'm going to rule, it will be because I've taken Marco's head... And then the so-called kings. So you see, I won't be like other rulers. I can't be like other rulers. If I'm going to be the queen that the people fight for, I must prove that I'm strong enough to deserve their loyalty. And that starts now. What are you saying? I will fight Severin myself. Oh, what the... Oh, God. And it ends like that? It ends like that? What the? You chose to forgo s sentimentally. And not reminisce about your childhood with Gabriel. Overall progress. Alive, not loyal. So I've got Gabriel recruited and Rose recruited. Still haven't met the rest of the people. <laughs> Army score 60 out of 119. 63 out of 119, to be precise. Goodness me. 
to 8. No, I'm not going to watch that. Can Kinna survive a...